Tesla is crashing through the floor. Is it time to buy? We're going to go over a very important level below Tesla that we must know if that breaks. I believe we're going to get a bigger crash. We're also going to go over Palantir stock. This one's pulling down, kind of breaking the buying level. We're going to go over that. We're also going to go over Enphase in this one and then maybe two others. But let me know if you guys want a second levels video today. Get the video over 30 likes within the first hour. Then I can make a second video for you guys. But you got to smash that like button pretty fast for me to post out a second video, okay? That's the drill. But let's go ahead and go over Tesla stock. No need to wait. Now, remember I gave you guys three resistance levels that Tesla had to break to confirm it wanted to go higher. It tested 240, and then today it almost hit that 245 level perfect. The high of today was 244.01, a dollar away from that resistance level. Look at the resistance in this area, right? Resistance, resistance. That's what I was trying to tell y'all. Don't be too zealous over Tesla yet. I love Tesla too. I think it's going to go to the moon, but we still got to watch these levels, these concurrent levels also. And remember what I told you guys yesterday, Tesla needed to not test this resistance level again yesterday. It was like right here. I told y'all it needed to leave it. It did not leave it. It came back down and did what? Tested it again. So that's kind of telling us that Tesla wanted to go down yesterday. I wasn't looking to buy Tesla today. It almost ran up and hit the resistance level again. And then shoot, sell off. It even came back down and broke that support. So later today, will it come back and retest the support? If it does not, that means Tesla has broken the support area at 236.50. But there is one more support level below us, right? At like 229, we do not want this to break, okay? If this breaks, that means Tesla's gonna have a bigger pull down. If this holds, then that can be the new support of Tesla stock. So watch that 229 support level. We could take this 240 resistance off that has already been broken. So now you have, we could take the support off too, honestly. I'm really just watching that 239. So 239 support. 245 resistance. That's your main two areas. Also, note Tesla is very stalled in this area. We're not really getting any direction up or down. Very stalled. Right now, it just kind of looks like it wants to pull down lower. So be mindful of that. I love Tesla. I'm looking for call options. I'm looking for swings. I'm looking to buy more shares. But we have to confirm that Tesla actually wants to have that secondary run up before we start buying because we could get caught in a pull down. So watch these two major levels for now. Now let's go to Palantir stock. Remember, Today's the last day for you to join. You can see today we did an IWM put option play. It got us about 20% and only took us about four minutes for this play. You literally could have paid for your membership in one play. All the student profits here. Profits, profiting. We're just profiting out the moon. Profiting like crazy. Make sure you join the team. The last day to get this. Make sure you email me, willknowledge77 at gmail.com if you want me to lock in the pricing for you, if you want to pay next week or so forth. After pay is available for lifetime and elite year. Only $58 a month, $576 for a year. Test it out. See for yourself. Get all my crypto buys. If you want me to teach you personally, you can either get the lifetime memberships. You pay one time forever. You get personal training forever and my buys and sells forever. Or personal training is only $600 now. It used to be $1,000. Last day for the biggest sell ever. Make sure you join. So Palantir stock. Notice I was testing that support today. Okay, It did break below that buying level, which is okay because we had that support that can still hold it. And it did, right? It held support very nicely, and we started to go back up, back to that buying level. So Palantir isn't out of the waters just yet. We actually need to start to see push out of here, okay? We need it to start pushing. Right now, it's just looking like it might want to push. It's like a 50-50 because we could back come down there and test that support. But I told y'all we don't want to break the support if we want Palantir to go higher. So, so far, still looking good for me to get in to reach about $22, but we actually need to start push today. I don't think today is going to be that day. I think it's going to actually start confirming next week because tomorrow the market's closed. Friday's a half day. I'm not trading Friday. So maybe next week is going to be the time to buy. So what you want to be really focused on right now is that support. We cannot break that support for Palantir still to have a good entry to trade up to $22 for me to get that play. So only focus on that support. That must not break, okay? In phase, updates. Remember, we already bought in phase long term. Okay, we already bought in phase after that big crash. Now you see in phase rocketing up to the moon. There is another area I am looking to buy more in phase, and that is at $96. This is also a support area. Remember, I believe in phase can go all the way back up to 260. My heavy call option play is above 140. We're not there yet, so I'm just accumulating shares down here, right? To take us up to about 260 to that higher side. That's at least about a 170 to 180% gain on the higher side, just off the shares alone. I think they could have a nice recovery, especially when interest rates start to come down. They should start to push up more, right? It does feel like they build support down here. So that's my new buying level. There's not a, a lot of areas of targets. It's just this big gap that it might be going up to. But I like that $96 area. Let me tell you, 
if it can pull back down here, show a lot of buying pressure and go back up, I'm actually going to load up on call options. I'm going to load up on swing shares to trade us back to maybe around 112 to 117. Those would be my targets on the upper side. But I need that pull down. I think that would be a big buy for um, NFA stock. So be mindful of that. OK, then talked about in, uh we talked about tesla we talked about palantir we talked about in phase let me talk about paypal real quick paypal is starting to pull down watch this support level at 55 dollars. if that starts to break then we're going to 53 okay if the support holds and we break this 57 first i think paypal will have no problem going to 61 that's a call option play i'm looking to get once we break this to the higher side to 61 62 that's a call option play that's a swing share play I'm going to load up on PayPal to get that nice swing, maybe about a 30% gain for that. Okay, that is something I'm looking out for PayPal, so make sure you watch out for that. Also, UAL, still gapping up. Remember I told y'all, look at this gap up right here. Remember I told y'all, once it build that support, I am looking to play it again. I don't think it's going to come back down to my 39 buying level, so I will change that to about 40. Right now, UAL is looking good. We still have 50% of our position on, and just looks good. It's breaking the resistance levels. I love it. We do have a new resistance right around 41, so we can change that. But overall, I am looking to buy some more off this pull down here. So let me take this off real quick. I'm literally just waiting for this pull down in here. Like we can have a down day. That's what I'm looking to buy to reach back up to higher prices. But so far, everything on UL is going perfect to script. Remember, last day to join. Go ahead and join in. It's the lowest prices ever. Test it out for a month. Invest in yourself. What are you waiting for? We're literally profit every week. Lock in the pricing. Email me. My email's right here. Email me if you want to lock in the price and you want to pay next week. Remember, after pay is available for elite year and lifetime memberships. Get the video over 30 likes if you want that next video. Follow me on Instagram, will.knowledge. You guys know the drill. And always remember, no recommendation to buy or sell anything. Just for educational purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. I will catch you guys in that next one.